was a sick kid. The problem? My tonsils. This is the story of my tonsillectomy. Listener discretion is advised. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, judges, and fellow 4-H members. Every month and a half, a throat infection came around. Finally, the doctor said, those tonsils must come out in order for this to stop. So onto the surgery waiting list I went. And a speedy 18 months later, we got the call. The day after a January snowstorm, mom woke me up super early. I got on my coat and we set off for the hospital. Things were going fine until mom turned down the back road and straight into a snowbank. Mom walked back to the highway and flagged down a vehicle. We got a lift back home, got into my dad's car, and set off again. <coughs> Eventually, we made it to the hospital. A short time later, I woke up in the recovery room and I was tired and sore. For the rest of the week, I pretty much lived on the couch, took gross medicine, watched a ton of movies, and drank a lot of water. We went back to Dr. O'Grady after 10 days and he said everything looked good. I could go back to normal life. A couple days later, we spent the day at my grandma and grandpa's house. On our way back home, I told my mom that I had a gross, salty, and metallic taste in my mouth and I wanted to brush my teeth when we got home. While mom was unloading the van, I went to brush my teeth. I rinsed and spit and out came blood and then some more, and even more. It just kept on coming. While I was freaking out, Mom quickly packed a hospital bed. Back onto the road to the hospital we went, me with a bowl on my lap to catch the continuous blood. We arrived at the hospital, and let me tell you, nothing gets you in to see a doctor faster than a kid with a bucket full of blood. <laughs> It seems that one of the scabs from my taunts left me had torn off, and I was likely swallowing blood all day. They tried to stop the bleeding in the ER, but I was too squirmy and scared to let them in there. So into emergency surgery, I went. Just before we went into the operating room, I threw up. There was blood everywhere. After new clothes and a new bed, they finally fixed the problem. I had to spend the night, but was allowed to go home the next day. That was one crazy and tiring adventure, and I'm glad to have it over with. Oh, and did I mention, while all this was happening, my dad was in Las Vegas? 